Hey, what's up guys? Your boys Violet 2K7 and we are back from a brand new Emerge NYC video. Today we're at the quarters of Engine 30 and Tiller Ladder 75 and we're actually going to take a look at the latest update for Emerge NYC which added a couple of new fires. So the fire that is new, we actually uh, just got it. It's coming in right now for a residential fire. Engine 30 and Ladder 75 are first due to a report of a fire in a looks like a multiple dwelling. So let's go ahead and respond to that. Alright guys, I'm seeing smoke. Not sure why the ladder stopped. Oh, traffic. Alright guys, we're gonna go with the 1075. Looks like we have fire on all floors. to work quick on this one. try to do that instead let's just take out a couple lamps Alright guys, so one update you gotta keep in mind is that as soon as you get close to the fire, well, I'm just gonna show you guys, your oxygen is gonna start going down much faster than before. So like, see, we're not even really close to it. Look how fast we are about to die. So let's go up on our oxygen. Let's p pick up our tools. Unfortunately, I lost my nozzle, so I'm gonna need to get another engine here. Oh shoot, I literally thought there was a door there. So that's another new feature you guys see when you get injured, it kind of pops up on the screen, so that's pretty cool. All right, I'm gonna need a nozzle, which we don't have, but you know what? I may be able to just improvise here. Let me see something. All right, so there was a lot of other updates. I'm gonna try to talk about them throughout the video or maybe I could kind of go over them at the end of the video but let's try to start knocking out some of this fire here oh, this is going to be a Fun one. All right, getting a good knockdown. Looks like we have a second floor over here too. I have to get some of the smoke out of here. Need to get some ventilation going.
Let's continue. Did I lose my line? What the heck? I did. No idea how that happened. I may have accidentally pressed E while moving around. It looked pretty bad from the outside, but we got in here and we got a good knock, so it doesn't look as bad. The second floor is still fully up, though, so we're going to have to work fast and try to make our way over there. Right, we're going to have to change out our tank and then attack the second floor. I think it's the last room that has fire. Oh shit, 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 shit. Crap, 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 crap. No! <laughs> okay, so one thing before, you could kind of run off the unlimited air, but I'm not sure if I was standing in the fire there or if I ran out of the unlimited air which obviously is not really unlimited but yeah <laughs> we just went down man that sucks all right let's try again going in actually before we go in this time let's actually change a little bit let's do some ladder work Man, this is crazy. All right, I'm gonna get the ladder up, the aerial up, and then we're gonna get back in. Right, my ladder is getting roasted in that window. I put it a little bit too high. Okay, we're gonna move in again. I'm gonna try to get to the second floor.
Looks like there's actually a third story here too. Alright, so I think that's the alarm going off for our air pack. That is pretty much that we're almost out of air and it's time to get out of here. Let's see if I can just knock out this floor and then get the heck out of here. Damn, there's so many rooms. Alright, we're not going to be able to knock this out. I got to back up. Alright, let's get out of here. Try not to die anymore, so... Try to be very careful. Alright guys, filled our tank back up. Getting ready to head back in. Looks like we just have fire on the third floor left. Plus the fire in the rear second, actually, too. All right, let's make quick work of this. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Back out, back out. Crap, 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 crap. Crap, I'm dead. Oh man, see how quickly things go to bad from worse? I got disorientated in there. Messed up my bearings. Okay, luckily I was able to figure out which way it was out and I got out. Let's see if I could knock some of this out before we stuff foot in there. I am liking this though. This is definitely making it a little bit more of a challenge. Um, before we was kind of just able to run around like Superman and put the fires out as long as you had your air tank on You pretty much wouldn't die unless you were like st standing directly in the fire But now if you're too close to the fire you start getting injured and That um like all of the red around the screen definitely makes it harder To uh, find your bearings get back out. I actually thought I was exiting that room and little did I know I was walking further into the apartment and I'm further into the fire so that just shows how dangerous this is come on I'm I'm not even in the fire yeah, I may die guys I'm gonna need a new character again you just look around we're out of here anyway all right we're backing out again guys gotta play this smart How am I dying right here? There's nothing right here. I'm trying to get to that back room over there so we can knock out that bit, but something in this, like, as soon as I enter that room, keeps killing me. 
not sure what it is because I'm not really in any fire right here. I'm guessing it could be fire on the third floor that's hitting me through the ceiling or I don't know. I'm going to actually go and take the third floor. This is definitely one of the coolest interiors that we had to fight a fire in because it's not it's not like perfectly I mean it is symmetrical like the the rooms and everything but it's not you know uh, great we have a door here that's probably locked is it locked yeah it's definitely is locked I was hoping I could like kick this door down all right we're gonna need to get a I um a uh, what you call it up here halligan or axe to get that door open. Why can I get this door open? Got a little bit of an issue. Can't get that door open. I probably have to use the ladder to get in there. Let me check fire conditions over here. It's still bad. Alright. So I'm gonna see because I'm having that third floor is really killing me, so I'm gonna see. If there's a way into the third floor. Now I have a couple of different ideas. We may be able to go um, through the roof. So let's bring some gear up there with us. You know what? I might as well just get a whole new character. So that way our oxygen is reset. All right, so this is gonna be the plan. I'm taking a Halligan. I'm gonna also take also take the K12 and I'm gonna try to take a line to it. How did this come off? Alright. Let's hope this pays off. I'm I'm banking that there's gonna be an access to the apartments up here. There may not be, but I'm gonna hope that there is. On the outside, it looks good though. No more visual fire from the front, but we still have fire in the rear though. That's giving us trouble. All right, so it looks like I'm wrong. There's no way to enter, but that's okay. So I'm just gonna drop that line. We're gonna open up. Oh, I'm gonna die. Oh man, I forgot all about that. Dang it, I'm gonna have to go back down. That never happened before. <laughs> okay, I gotta say, this this new update is freaking crazy. <laughs> Normally I could get away with that. We freaking fell through the roof. I'm surprised we didn't die right there. 
That just shows again how dangerous this job is. Let's see if I get one more cut though. Uh, should have had this out already. Oh, I thought I was dead. I'm still alive. I have no idea where I'm at. Alright, see if I can figure out where I'm at. I'm in one of these rooms to the front, I know that. Alright, here's the stairs. Downstairs, get the heck out of here. I don't know how I didn't die for real on that time. It's much harder to make cuts. That's for sure. Alright, let's put this away, and uh, let's see if we can get in there with a line and knock out the rest of this. Alright guys, so normally I don't go with the surround and drown method, but we kind of have no choice right now. We've been here so long that we're not making much progress, so let's see if I can knock out some of these flames from the outside. Alright, so we got a lot of it knocked down. I'm gonna go back inside and test our luck here. I know there's fire back here. Or was that the third floor? Nope, right here. Now, I still didn't figure out a way to get into the third floor, so that's going to be a whole other issue that we're going to have to try to figure out. My nozzle isn't stop isn't stopping. That's weird. Doesn't want to stop. All right, fire's out on this floor. Uh, I just gotta figure out the plan for this third floor here. Cannot open the door. I'm not sure if that button changed or something. Alright, well, let me reset this guy because I cannot put the hose down. Still kind of confused on what the actual third floor is, but 
Let's try taking a line up there again. Kind of all over the place with this fire attack today, but that's mainly because, you know, we're a one-man team trying to put out a fire on three floors, so it's only so much I could do by myself, you know? Are you serious? I don't have my holes. Alright guys, so I actually closed my laptop. I wasn't sure if I was going to be able to come back into the game, but actually I was able to. So we are back. This is about two hours later, which is why the time is a little bit different now. But anyway, I'm back on the roof. Um, I'm recording the audio after the video because I already recorded the video, but I didn't record my audio since I wasn't home. I was on the road, but I was still playing. So basically what I did now was take out the can because I couldn't get a line to the roof and I was actually as you was able to see I was able to knock out the fire with what was just in my water can which was pretty amazing. So that was the last bit of fire that was just right there in the roof and we were able to knock it down with the can which is very, very lucky of me. Um, if that didn't work I was going to go ahead and get a tower ladder and then set that up and then spray water that way. But I'm happy that I was able to knock it out with the can because that saved me some time. So um, now I'm pretty much just showing you guys that the fire is completely out. And now we're going to be making our way down back to the ground level here. I really can't believe after all of this though, we knocked it down with the can. So there's still a lot of smoke in there, so what I'm going to try to do next is uh, try to see if we can use that, open up some of these windows or pull some of these ceilings just to make sure there's no more fire and just to make sure we get out all of that smoke as well. Alright, so we're going to go in with the can and our hook now. Oh, before we did that, I was just trying to see if I could break any of these windows, but it didn't look like they were really broken. I did try it earlier in the episode too with the Halloween. So now I'm just trying to see if I can open up any of these windows from the inside or if I can open up any of these ceilings to so just check the fire. I was unable to. So instead, I made my way to the second floor, and I was just confirming that there was no more fire. At this point, you can see I don't even have my SCBA on, and I'm not dying, so I can see that there's definitely no smoke or fire remaining, just a bunch of uh, residual smoke, I guess. Okay, so all rooms check out, no fire. Um, also realized, I guess there was no actual third floor. Like there was a, there was stairs going up to like a door, but there was nothing behind it. So I don't, I don't really know what that was about. But it looks like the fire is under control, guys. All right, guys. So that is gonna do it for today's episode. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed, make sure you guys hit that like button, leave some comments down below, subscribe if you are new. Also turn the notification uh, bell. So you'll be notified whenever I post a new video and also join my discord. Uh, I want to try to start doing a merge NYC multiplayer again. So if you guys would like to play, definitely join my discord. And um, yeah guys, that's going to do it for this one. So thank you so much for watching. Really do hope you guys enjoy and I will see you in the next one. Peace.